I should mention that, um, which I have several times about the house next door that they're renovating. They're still renovating it. They still stay all day. They still, you know, whatever they do in there, but it looks like it's going to be done soon, but you know, they've just, it's been years, I think. It's been, it seems like a really, really long time that they've been doing this, just renovating and but now they've got the curtains closed on it but a thing that occurred to me um, that I never mentioned on here that uh, they have uh, well I have mentioned that they keep the fans going the overhead fans going and the lights are lit up all night long upstairs and down and um, they just keep everything going, you know, all night long. And um, I think it's on an automatic timer and it goes off during the day, I think. But um, but anyway, these people come there regularly and work, but different, different workmen come there and work. And lately it's been a white van, work van with... Uh, a um, couple guys, one guy's real loud and um, just, I don't know, I won't describe the people, you know, because they're always different, but um, years ago, there, I mean, before any of these people moved in, on the other side of me, uh, there was a couple that moved in, and they were just like there for business because they they had uh, I believe it was uh, the in the cottage in the back they had uh, the H and R block or something like that in the back and in the front I don't know what they were doing but maybe they supposedly lived there but um, I had met them and I I got a bad impression from her especially but that you know both of them really this couple uh she's they're both older and they were this is years ago um and i just got a bad feeling about her and she was not friendly you know i don't i, I don't we i didn't uh my husband at that time uh he was talking to him and had me come over and I said hello and stuff and we only spoke for a couple of minutes and then they and then I never really had any interactions with them at all after that except their their son was there too he was this uh big boisterous guy <laughs> that that uh I didn't like him either but um she uh was some high-ranking person, I believe, at the utilities company. Um, and so they didn't stay there. For, I mean, I don't even think it was a whole year that they stayed there. But um, And then they sold it ostensibly. Uh, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. But anyway after that and they the people they sold it to was you know this shelter this this place that they had um aa meetings and and na meetings and <coughs> it was a regular thing and it was just really oh, it was awful then too <coughs> because they you know i think it was a front even then for um well I was certain of it that uh, for all these illegal businesses that they they had going, and since then, you know, there's they have sold like I mean that they've taken over like all of the houses around here. Um, there aren't any real people living here except for me. I think you know I am surrounded by these people that engage in these illegal activities. And, but 
I did want to mention that, you know, because they run up the utilities there in an empty apartment house, big apartment house, um, that it's a Victorian house, um, that this utilities lady that used to live there, I guess, this is one of my theories, you know, that she could be running the show here. I mean, or is a big part of how all these businesses come together. It's just a theory that I have, but I think they've got mm-hmm. their utilities somehow hooked up to my utilities and they are they're running up my bill. I mean, because my bill is astronomical. My utilities bill is really high. And um, I think they are trying, I don't know what they're trying to do, whether to it's to, you know, because I don't have very much money. I live on a fixed income. And I'm thinking they want my house. They want my house. They want me I don't know what they want from me because they, you know, they do all kinds of stuff and they're very interested in me. So they might have some other business in relation to me too, which I, I've had theories about that too, but I think they have multiple businesses that they, it's like a conglomerate <laughs> that they, they do all these illegal things, you know, and, um, I just wanted to mention that, that they, they've got all this illegal stuff and the utilities company could have something to do with it. It's, it could be a thing where they're hooked up with the utilities company, all these criminals. So that's just another thing that I came up with and I wanted to mention it on here because it's, It's relevant to what's happening to me now. It is. So that's all. That's all I had to say. Um, I looked at my first video that I did here. um, And it was like almost a year and a half ago. Something like that. Um, Or maybe it has been a year and a half ago. Um, But... Uh, my hair was so much fuller just a year and a half ago and now look at it you know so something to do with that too you know they're they're just they're I don't know but that's another theory I have you know because I'm a healthy person I'm I'm healthy and they have all these noxious things around that they um that they spray around and stuff, which they haven't lately, but they'll they'll start up with it again. And you know, all the all the weird things that they do, they'll start up again with it. I'm sure, because it, it's a it's a gang stalking situation. Um, but and there are things. My phone is hacked constantly, constantly hacking my phone, and. So I do whatever I can, you know, like I get an, a new device is connected on, you know, through the Wi-Fi onto my phone constantly, you know, and I kick it off, off if, if I can. And, uh, then once I kick that one off, it'll, it'll do another one, you know, it's my, it's my phone. But so I don't know. Maybe I don't know enough about it that I don't know. I don't know. It really is very, very strange. So I'm just reading this little sign here. But anyway, um, I'm staying vigilant and believe believe it or not, it's happening. It's a real thing. I'm not a kook. But I you know, I, I don't 
really have to say that anymore because I don't care what people think about me. I just would like to get it out there and uh, just maybe some good ears will hear. You know, I always have to say that, that, you know, some good people can get wind of what these crooks are about. And they're in positions of authority. They're in, they, and they've got interest in this. They, they make money. They make money and they don't want anybody to know. So that's all I have to say. All right. Goodbye.